Hey guys, welcome back to About the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. These are my two sisters. Edith, Desiree. And we came back to the theater to see Mortal Kombat 2021 version. <laughs> I could just say this, my favorite character playing was always um, Raiden. And who do you guys? I think I would usually play with... Or Scorpion, but yeah, usually Raiden uh, was my guy. I think it would guy. be Scorpion or Sonya. But I was never any good at figuring out how to get the special <laughs> movements. I just push everything and Me then too. whatever happened and then like, okay, how did I do that? I was with like... <laughs> <laughs> on the thing and Desiree. Mine is Sub-Zero. Yeah. So I was pretty excited about this one, but then I was like, I don't know, like I'm getting too excited. And then I started hearing little things here and there that I wasn't that great. So my expectations started to kind of come a little bit down. I'm glad I, I, I did bring them down, but I feel like it still honestly has a little bit of that 90s acting with it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. It's kinda like, like the storyline of those old ones. Yeah, the storyline, the acting, like right off the bat, I went, oh, this is what people are talking about. What really um, helps a movie is the fighting. Yes, the fighting is like the best part, all the bloody and the gory. Very, I, I think it is rated R. I'm pretty sure it is I with all the stuff. It um, and it's only a little under two hours long. Of course, I'll have like the little fact sheet at some point. You would have seen it. Uh, but what are you guys' uh, thoughts about it? I know I'm just like blabbering about. I enjoyed it. Um, I mean, I, I wanted to see it. I wasn't like super excited mm -hmm. or like, wow. More Mortal Kombat. Yeah. But I did want to see it. Um, I had just read a review from a friend that said that it kind of sucky. Mm -hmm. But I, I enjoyed it. It's an enjoyable movie. Um, I'm not very much on the gruesome, so... I like the gruesome. I mean, I, I have to look away. I know oh. it's coming. I know it's there. No, this is me. <laughs> look at the brains because you literally see brains you guys you see like all the inside it gets cut up in there and i went that's awesome well, see that part i'm okay it it was the arm ripping oh uh, that was cool too <laughs> it's like I, I guess i can sort of feel it yeah. it's like oh no I, I could do the whole song the, yeah. the whole and the guts thing yeah but the arms ripping part that one that, that, that was, like, i did the least was, yeah. Gory. Yeah. That well, really I guess was. the least gory is what I, I can do more gory than the least gory. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. That's right. I enjoyed it because I also heard, heard about stuff and, but I was mostly just looking forward towards the fighting part of it. I was all like, I was kind of hoping it was still the kind of cheesiness of the 90s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I was actually hoping that it was going to be kind of like that because it's kind of like cheesy. Like it, it's what makes it. Yeah, what it is. What I was just waiting for is Sub Zero's move that we saw in the trailer. Mm -hmm. We saw it a, basically a little bit, but we didn't see his whole thing. But I was like, I'll, I'll settle for that. Yeah. I was, he so lasted longer fight. here than in the 90s movie. Yeah. In the 90s movies, it was like, un pedo, and he was gone. <laughs> yeah. This one, he was more powerful. Yeah, he yeah. was definitely more powerful. Um, even the villains, they were a little bit uh, more difficult uh, to kill here because in the 90s, also, it, it just, like, again, like, super quick. It made no sense how quickly they died. I mean, in an Annihilation, like Shiva, I mean, literally, something you remember, we're like, that's it, she's dead. And honestly, yeah. uh, I ended up hearing that they had a lot of um, budget restrictions. So they oh. were literally just didn't have enough money to like keep having her with the four arms. I like the whole birthmark that you're chosen, yeah. but the uh, killing and then yeah and then it, it gets away but at the same time i didn't really like it because they kind of excluded sonia from it i do like the actress that they got for her because yeah. like she's really muscular you know they didn't get somebody really thin and skinny because you know how they be trying to get everybody so thin thin and stuff and it's like, bitch, like no in part two? yeah like in part two she was a little bit more skinnier man her arms dude like i wish i had her arms i just kept looking at her arms i'm like yeah you have those killer she she was awesome she looked, she looked athletic yeah she looked like she was in the military i loved it she had some meat on her they weren't trying to get just a she pretty looked real yeah she looked real <laughs> they weren't just trying to get like this pretty like skinny model looking person you really don't care about the story honestly i don't think so yeah it, I, it doesn't even yeah. when you look at it it's not like it really mm. has a story no like, it's just kind of like fight yeah there's a lot a lot of fighting involved like really really good fighting um yeah 90 percent of the movie is fighting yeah and that's why you really don't care about the story 
the really non-existing <laughs> honest honest story. <laughs> Sonia, real quick, she picked up. Yeah, get her power. She got hers real quick. Everybody else, Kano and the the, the new guy, they oh. they took forever in a day. It's like kind of like those little montages of you know we're gonna figure out your power. And Sonia came in like a bad bitch and like and then she was like pink. I said, oh you like the pink one. I said, no, you eat the pink one. You saw it. Like plastered. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, but I mean, what do you guys um? Well, those are just our thoughts. I mean, I just kind of went. Do you have anything else to say? I just kept going. <laughs> going I'm sorry. <laughs> no. This one, it was kind of weird for Scorpio, though. Because how... Oh, like yeah. Because how they were all basically on the bad side, but this time it's like... Good. It's not like the team Scorpio and Sub Zero. Yeah. They're always like kind of next mm -hmm. to each other. Even Kano, because remember Kano was part mm -hmm. of of the the bad one um, and the other one too. And I mean, there's still that rivalry between Kano and and Sonya. Do I regret coming to the theater? No, because the 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 sound we watched of it, it in Dolby, so yeah, I like yeah, I like the, the vibration. Yeah, the vibration it. with it. Yeah. So if you're gonna see in theater Dolby, I think would be good. But I don't feel like it's one you necessarily need to see nah, it's uh, fine if we're at home hbo max yeah it. it's, it's one of those that you can uh for the next 30 days will be on hbo max um and, and it'll be quick you have like surround system, yeah so it'll be like mm -hmm. <laughs> we also came to a new theater um if you are from the dfw area we came to amc fire wheel we've never been to this one we had to come to our early one because this one has to go to work and then and then this one has to go to work later uh mm -hmm. i like this theater it's better than the mesquite one i do like the, yeah, I like the, yeah, mesquite. the mesquite and I like that this one they actually had like little wipes for you to wipe down your seat because I know I'm always with my damn wipes or my spray and they have literally like um those sanitizers like all over the place and I kept seeing people cleaning the one in mesquite it was looking pretty rough um so yeah this was a good one other than that but then again after that shooting I really don't know how how, how soon I want to go back to the mesquite they had a shooting oh, I didn't know about, I didn't know about the know. shooting when uh, a week or two ago what well, it is a kind of ghetto over there, you guys. <laughs> but so, I don't know about the show. I don't watch the news. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys? On Facebook. Oh. I'll give this a medium popcorn because of the fighting. Yeah, yeah, medium also because of the fight. If we didn't have as much fighting as it did, it honestly would have been a small one because again, the storyline is not good. But the it's fight non-existing, non-existing. <laughs> you really will go in there watching it for the fights because they're really awesome, and then you go. Doo -doo 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 I don't know, that's my Mortal Kombat deal. <laughs> uh, you know, because I'm trying not to get copyrighted. <laughs> that is it from us today. Let us know down below what did you guys think about the new Mortal Kombat. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Go ahead and rank the three um, live action Mortal Kombat. I know that there's a lot of other ones. I think the best one that I've heard so far is the Scorpion one. I haven't seen it, but I think that's a animated one. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at the sessions. Bye!